the frequency synthesizer design using IC LM565 which is a PLL IC phase locked loop. So, this video will be divided into two parts. In first part, we will see uh, what are the basic design considerations using PLL IC565 and in the second part, we will see the complete design of a frequency synthesizer. Learning outcome, at the end of this session, students will be able to design a frequency synthesizer using LM565. Contents, this video is divided into two parts. One is design steps of frequency synthesizer and another part is a small example of frequency synthesizer using LM565. Now, the frequency synthesizer is built using IC565 that is PLLIC phase locked loop. So, whatever is shown in this gray region is part of a IC565. So, it consists of phase detector, low pass filter, error amplifier and VCO. And the remaining part is we have to connect externally. For example, this crystal oscillator is to be externally connected. Then it is to be divided by using divided by M network using counters. And then this input is given to the PLL. And another input is given from the feedback path that is the output of the VCO is taken out that is uh, divided by uh, divide by N network and that again acts as a input to another input to the phase detector. So, this phase detector compares the input from uh, crystal oscillator with the input from feedback. So, if you look at the operation of frequency synthesizer using uh, this PLL, we see that this crystal oscillator has got a frequency of F oscillator that is uh, appropriately divided by uh, some decayed counters with appropriate value of M and that input frequency that that whatever output we are getting out of this uh, divided by a network M network we are applying as a one of the input to the phase detector. And another input is coming from the output of the PLL that is VCO and that output actually is uh, equal to F oscillator divided by M here already we have divided by M. So, F oscillator divided by M multiplied by N that means the output frequency we are getting here is whatever input frequency multiplied by this N whereas input frequency is F oscillator divided by M. So, here what we uh, the output we get is the input frequency multiplied by n and that is called frequency synthesizer. If you uh, use this divide by n network using uh, thumb wheel switches so as to uh, set the preset value as we desired. So, this n value is not fixed we can change this n value from 1 to n whereas this divided by m network is fixed one uh, so there is no need to change the divided by m factor but divided by n factor need to be changed because we want this n to be variable so that because f oscillator is fixed m is fixed only if n is variable then the output frequency out of this VCO will be variable and that is what the frequency synthesizer. So, uh, let us see how it operates. The frequency synthesizer is supposed to produce an output signal, the frequency of which can be precisely adjusted to any value in a prescribed range as we discussed earlier this uh, prescribed range we can set by using this uh, divided by n network because we change this n value from 1 to n. 
and the output of a frequency synthesizer should be stable in order to ensure the stability of the frequency a crystal oscillator of frequency f oscillator is used so this crystal oscillator is necessary to have the input frequency which is stable then only because uh, the output depends upon the input if input itself is varying then output may also change uh, and that we, if you don't want then we want this input frequency to be stable and that's why this crystal oscillator is used the output frequency of a crystal oscillator is divided by m with the help of uh, m divided by network thus the input frequency to pll is f oscillator divided by m as shown in the figure so we have seen it then next part is the PLL will compare this input frequency with the frequency at the output of divide by n network and will try to adjust this frequency equal to f oscillator divided by m divided by m in order to obtain the same frequency that is f oscillator divided by m at the output of the divide by n network the VCO frequency should be adjusted to m uh, uh, adjusted to f vco is equal to f oscillator multiplied by n divided by m so f oscillator is fixed m is also fixed so n is variable here we can change this n to get any desired f vco frequency now let us take one example of uh, frequency synthesizer design using our plic 565 so first we will see what is the design problem so the problem is design a frequency synthesizer for 1 kilohertz to 999 kilohertz that means the output frequency we want 1 kilohertz to 999 kilohertz in the range and for that we should use the PLL and uh, in the feedback path of the PLL there must be a variable uh, divided by n network to get uh, the this range crystal available is of 1 megahertz okay and use suitable IC and thumb wheel switches see these thumb wheel switches are necessary to design the divide by n network not m network m network is fixed so the solution here in the beginning what we are doing is uh, we are going to first setting the parameters of the PLL that is uh, uh, VCO parameters R1 and C1 these are very important parameters for the uh, PLL or we can say VCO parameters in PLL there is a VCO so to find out uh, F out what is f out required because here f out is in the range range is there from 1 kilohertz to 999 kilohertz so what we should do is we should take the mean of that that is f max here is 999 uh, kilohertz plus f minimum is 1 kilohertz divided by 2 so it becomes 1000 divided by 2 that means f out becomes 500 kilohertz so f out is what actually the VCO output frequency so to get this v, uh, VCO output frequency what must be the value of R1 and C1 that is decided by this formula so these this formula is used to find out the value of R1 and C1 if you know the VCO output frequency or VCO center frequency we can say so to find R1 C1 that is VCO timing components we use this formula f out is equal to 1.2 divided by 4 r1 c1 so here we should because there are two unknowns here and only one equation so what we assume is there is a c1 we, uh, value we assume as 0.1 nanofarad here so c1 is 0.1 nanofarad f out already we have found that is 500 kilohertz you from this you you can find out this r1 and this r1 comes out to be 6 kilo ohm so this is what the uh, PLL VCO component design. So this is the first step in design. 
Now let us go ahead and use this crystal oscillator divided by M network to get the input frequency. Now what must be the input frequency required here? So see here the range given is 1 kilohertz to 999 kilohertz. So the lowest frequency is 1 kilohertz that means we want 1, uh, 1 kilohertz from 1 megahertz. So to do that let us see how uh, how we can find the value of m. So there is a question what will be the value of m in input divided by uh, network. Pause the video and answer the question. Now answer to the question is here uh, very simple as we discussed earlier. This is a 1 megahertz crystal oscillator uh, which the output of which we have to give to some divided by m network and that must give the output 1 kilohertz as we discussed earlier and that must be given to the uh, EFIN input that is uh, phase detector input of the PLL. I see that is 565. So here crystal oscillator of 1 megahertz is used to get the stable output frequency and uh, to get 1 kilohertz from 1 megahertz this must be divided by 1000 this 1 megahertz frequency must be divided by 1000 to get 1 kilohertz and that is done by using 3 uh, 74192 counters actually 74192 is are decade dividers or decade counters we can say. So we have to use such 3 decade counters for dividing this input frequency of crystal uh, that is uh, crystal frequency of 1 megahertz uh, by 1000. So 374192 counters are cascaded to get 1 kilohertz and that is given to one of the input of the phase detector of IC565. References Electronic System Design by Vaibhav T. Tarate, Electrotech Publications, Satara. Thank you.